Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars figure review. This time it is the Mandalorian Super Commando and the Mandalorian Super Commando Captain. Um, <clears throat> both uh, loyal followers to Darth Maul, or at least they would be loyal followers until somebody took the Darksaber from them because that's just how Mandalorians roll, uh, rolled back during the Clone Wars. Um, these are two great figures, um, basically the same exact figure, um, with all honesty. Um, I prefer this one just because it's got more of like a overall like cohesion to it. It's got like the, it's just got much better paint apps on it. I think this one, they had to do like all the like intricate DK details on like the, um, the, uh, the helmet deco and everything um which is probably going to be annoying for people that want like it all to be lined up properly mine was pretty good um the biggest issue i've been having with uh mandalorian figures is oh, is that uh whenever i try to make videos the walls fall down um is that the <clears throat> it's gonna fall again i know it's trying to break the illusion i don't understand why um not so much on this guy, a little bit, but um, their visors always seem to be, um, he's falling over. This is a disaster of a video already. Um, okay, he wants to, to, right there you can see. Um, that side of his visor, the black paint is not like completely centered. Um, it leans to his right a little bit, watching uh, your left, you know. Um, <clears throat> It's been kind of like that on all of the Mandos. It's it's like that on this guy, too, a little bit. Um, but, as I said, not as severe as this one. But a little touch-up um, along the side there with little glossy black paint should do the trick. But other than that, this guy's pretty awesome. Um, his shoulder piece is, like, popping up a little bit. I think I'm probably going to try and smush that down a little bit more when I get a chance. Um, but yeah, it's overall same figure um but they differ greatly with like the paint apps like this guy has paint like on his knee pads on his like cod piece here all the way down here it's all like weathered like he's got that shiny um metallic paint all over which is awesome and this guy's got more of like a a matte gray um all along like and it would i'm probably gonna dirty him up at some point just to, the walls staying down. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, they're being attacked right now. Haven't, didn't you watch season seven of the Clone Wars? There's mayhem going on outside these walls. Um, <clears throat> but um, yeah, so he's missing a lot of like extra like um, flashes of paint, like kind of on the knee pads here and like down here. But um, overall. Um, both great figures and um, because Hasbro has been doing a really good job like especially with the Mandalorians um, with like future proofing them um, which means like they are making a lot of pieces that can kind of be like swapped between the uh, the figures like um, you've got these shoulder pieces that instead of molding the shoulder pads onto like the upper part of the arm it's a part of like um, a piece that goes onto the whole like shoulder part here. So like you've got, so these two um, uh, chest pieces are the same, but their shoulder overlays are different because this one's got like little spikes on it and it's got some, um, <clears throat> so it's just like a very um, smart thing that they've been doing with the, uh, um, with the Mandalorian figure so that they can just keep pumping out a bunch of different ones. Um, and if you've been keeping track and, um, making note of some of the parts that they've been making, um, these, first off, all right, one gripe I've been having, uh, with a lot of their figures, the knee pads need to go on the lower shin here. Um, it's strange because they have the Death Watch Mandalorian, um, and his knee pads are like on the bottom and then these guys, their knee pads are up top. You've got the um, Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. His knee pads are like up here. And then the Book of Boba Fett. His knee pads are down here. Knee pads go on the top of the shin. So that when you bend the knee. 
they go down here so that the knee pad can protect the knee when you are kneeling. I know it's a, it sounds like a lot of the same words, that's because it is, and it's a very simple concept, Hasbro, so let's try and uh, figure that out. But they're obviously not going to completely remold all these pieces just to please some people. It's it's whatever. It's fine when they're like this. The biggest issue is when they're like uh, like kneeling and stuff. It's just like it looks not so bad on these guys, but um, on like clone troopers and stuff, it looks really bad because they're just like the knee pads just like sticking into the ground and it's like it just looks bad. Um, so hopefully on the new clone trooper molds, they they please please Hasbro put the knee pad on the bottom. Um, put them on, put it on the shin, the top of the shin, please, please, Hasbro. Um, but their weapons, they both come with their um, pistols. They can go in there. They can go in their uh, little thigh holsters here. Um, they they don't fit very well, um, especially on the captain here. I even tried like widening it a little bit. I'm gonna have to like carve some of the holster out if I want it to fit well. There they go. They're, we're having fun tonight, right? Um, <clears throat> but their holsters are very tight. Um, you can kind of get them in there, but the the issue on top of that is that they use a very kind of gummy plastic for the weapons. Or not, not so much like super gummy, but the, the pistols being so small, um, there's not much... Uh, like a there's not much along like the the trigger part here that will stop it from just like you know bending up or breaking in half or something um so this guy's pistols um they they fit in pretty good but when you're taking them out you're going to want to like you don't want to just like pull like on the back here i i try to pull on both sides and kind of you know wiggle it out a little bit and you know, obviously if, and also when you're pushing it in, if you just push too hard, you're going to like bend it to the side or something. So you're going to want to be careful with that. Um, just some little, little notes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you can see with this guy, his like, uh, you kind of see underneath the uh, armor piece up there. It's just needs to be pushed down a little bit. Um <clears throat> Also, their jetpacks, they're, they're future-proofing these as well. I'm um, not sure what their plan is for them, but get that off there. Come on now. Yes. Um, no. Likes to be a little bit of a pain, but um, also these could could have used like a little bit of a wash to them. Um... But the middle part here um, is actually out of focus a lot. Um, the middle part here is actually a separate piece um, than the two like side um, boosters. And it like goes, or I think there's, I, there's like four different pieces here. Because there's like the, uh... oh yeah, so. So yeah, they're just making a bunch of different pieces. So these are two different pieces on the sides, and then this is a piece that um, has the peg attached to it that slides into this like a uh, flat piece or the curved piece to make the back of the jetpack. So they're they're definitely planning to like you know take these pieces off and piece them together with other you know smaller sculpted pieces to make it easier to give us maybe like a a pre or something. That would be pretty sweet if we get a pre um, I mean, we're getting so many Mandalorian characters. Um, but um, I alluded to it earlier. I've mentioned it in some previous videos. Um, um, oh, really quick. The guns should have been molded in like a, a more silvery plastic or something. Or black. You know, they look... It's just... He's just holding like a Nerf gun right there. But... Um, yeah, they're definitely working their way to giving us a new Django because these are like, these are 100% Django's shoes, Django's um, shins right here. Um, I'm pretty sure these are very close to um, Django's um, knee pads. Um, we've got the Death Watch, not not the uh, the 
yeah, the Death Watch um, Airborne Trooper is basically this helmet with a rangefinder, um, which is going to look identical to Django Fett's. Um, and that guy, even these guys, they're, this guy's shoulder armor is very much in line with Django's and the chest armor, of course. Um, so basically, it all comes down to his belt, which these are always like a separate piece that just like floats here um, on the middle of the figure. Um, so we're going to, they just need to mold like a rubber belt with all his little pouches on it and then those those will probably be um will have like the uh um uh holsters for his like um hips over here and they'll probably be like a separate like a all connected probably with like a some like bands that like run around his like thighs or something like that um however they decide to do that and then he'll need like a some a tubing attachment over here but i'm pretty sure the um Death Watch Airborne Trooper, which I have, I should have coming in a few days. Um, that has tubing that's very close to what Django has. Um, but it's it's just showing that they are, they're thinking ahead with all of the stuff that they've been making recently. Um, all the new stuff that they have been coming out with, it looks fantastic. And they have been doing a good job of making like the overlays and um like swappable pieces so that not every figure needs to be like a just a throwaway like one-time use um just like the uh the new like migs mayfeld and din jar and like disguise figures those are tons of pieces for like a future mud trooper and um <clears throat> uh even a lot of the andor um like imperial officers or like a um, soldiers and stuff they there's a lot of new ones that have like a mud trooper and um a uh like mud trooper and um you know aesthetics to them like the helmets and stuff like that so um i think we'll definitely be getting probably some pieces with like new andor figures and then down the line i'm sure we'll get a mud trooper and then after they release a mud trooper single carded they'll announce a four pack to make us all even happier, right? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, those are the uh, Mandalorian Super Commando Plus uh, add, and you can add a uh, simple addition, add um, a captain to the end of that, and you get him. So um, Also, <clears throat> these are the Boba Fett uh, booster flame things they fit in their jetpack so i was like mentioning that because they, they kind of they're a little hard to get and you kind of got to like twist them in um don't want to just push them right in because the jetpacks can be a little um, rubbery at the bottom you don't want to bend them too much or something um but yeah those are these guys um great figures thank you for watching everybody um like comment subscribe do all that fun stuff go follow me on instagram John Runner 88 over there as well. And I think that will do it. We had some fun tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, guys.